Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode of the ABS show coming straight to you from New York City. My name is Charlie Dior. I am Miss Fitfire. My name is Marks. I am Glitterati. And I'm the Many Man. And we're bringing you the ABS show, the best show in the entire world. Make uh -huh. sure to subscribe to our channel. Yes, yes. And after the show, go on Instagram and follow us at the ABS show. Miss Africa, Mama Africa, uh -huh. Africa's queen. I see that you guys are coming for me today. We are. You are looking lovely. <laughs> I see, so the setup. So what are we talking about today? So today we're talking about a while back there was some news about some faulty pads being sold in Kenya. Ooh. You know, pads, sanitary uh, napkins, yes. menstrual stuff. You know mm, that stuff. Mm. Stuff that you guys don't like to talk move about on, sometimes, move on, right? Move on. So, <laughs> so um, it's, it's um, reported allegedly that the pads that they're selling in Kenya mm -hmm. are um, substandard compared to the pads you're selling here in the United States of America and mm -hmm. UK and everything. So this gets goes to speak about why they're selling substandard goods to Africa. Mm. It includes fake pharma. Fake products, because these products are creating rashes, boils, bleeding, different things in women. And this is somewhere that is very intimate. It absorbs really much. So think about the other products that are coming into Africa. And I know yeah. you guys have seen people that are selling medicine in a out of a bag. Yeah. And, you know, people that are selling products. They're selling um, fake rice. All of these things that are happening. Why are they sending us all of their products that are not correct? Even the cell phones are not correct that they're selling, sending to Africa. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit about that, y'all. Yeah. Uh, this makes sense because in 2000. 16, the same Kenya was world leader in distributing menstrual uh, uh, pads, mm -hmm. you know. So it really makes sense now because uh, if this is happening at this time, that means you can actually date it back to 2016 or however long this has been happening. Mm -hmm. So it's not just like a, 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 a recent thing. Mm -hmm. This has been going on for quite a while and it just has to take, you know, this period to actually detect and know that, whoa, these people have been distributing or have been receiving fake products. From mm -hmm. where? Well, these, these pads are made in Egypt. Okay. They're made in oh. Egypt by always Procter & Gamble, which is the company that even in America, Procter & Gamble has that they, they, their products are not always the best because you know some of the things that are in the product mm -hmm. are acetone. Now even for us that are here that are using the products here, there's acetone, there's ty things that make ty styrofoan, yeah. all the things that are putting toward things. So they they're actually going to was using more natural things for menstruation, menstruation. but. This is not the only product that they're sending there. They're sending mm. several other products. I know you guys have heard of it. I'm sure you've seen the makeup that's Iman, but you go home, it says, S uh, man. You know, different things. They're sending, they're sending, it's not just like Iman, it's saying Iman. The, the eye is missing. The eye is, is erased off. You know, like, you know, we understand there's substandard goods in there. People, they do do fake goods up here in the, in, in the West too, but they really, really, Flood our markets with of fake things. The question that I'm asking for this debate is, why is Africa the dumping ground for all these products? Mm. Expired goods, things that are, you know, things that are substandard to our, our thing. Like, for instance, even food is substandard. It's, it's, it's getting ready to expire, and they're, they're sending everything there. Medicine, which is something that is detrimental to your inner body. I'm sorry, T. Manny. Why is it that we are now the dumping ground for every product? Africa is, a, is quite accepting mm. Mm -hmm. of a lot of these things. Hmm. We don't have regulating, even if even though we do have regulating bodies, we don't, the ISO, they don't regulate as, as keenly as they do in the, uh, in the foreign countries. Mm. So when you bring all these things over, they let it slide. They're like, you know what, hey, it's not that bad. <laughs> they put it in the market because they want to make money from it. Mm. Now, a couple of, um, a, a month ago, actually, I bought Indomie. Now, mm -hmm. not Indomie made for Af not for Africa. Well, the African you, that was your first mistake. Yes. What? Wait. <laughs> not so the young content. Let me, no, let, me finish. Finish. <laughs> let me finish. It wasn't the Indomie made for the African continent. It was the Indomie made for the Asian continent. Mm -hmm. And I compared because I have the one from Nigeria at home. Mm -hmm. Indomie, the same the same brand. Mm -hmm. I compared. I cooked both of them. And we started comparing. First of all, the packaging is different. Hmm. Secondly, the content is different. For the one in the Asian continent, they have five sources inside. For wow. Nigeria, we only have the sodium and the pepper. Right. That's, it. That's it. Right? And then the taste is different. The cook, the cook time is different. Mm. So this begs the question, why is it made differently? I understand that they create brands to suit different um, continent, different geography. Mm, yes. But for Africa, mm. we allow for those for those things to happen. Yeah. Mm. We don't complain. We don't bring non we don't bring light to the fact that this is not this is substandard. I mm. want better for the money that I'm being charged. Mm. Because out there, we pay more for these items than they do out here. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the always part we're talking about, mm -hmm. they pay more in um, in Kenya, Kenya compared to how much you pay here. Mm -hmm. I've been home. 
I use always ultra as well. I use always pad. Mm -hmm. I went home. The pad, I ran out of pad, so I had to buy the one in Nigeria. First of all. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. You know what? I actually had to opt to using cotton wool because it was pointless. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. The pad, first of all, is thin. Mm -hmm. And then when you hold it, when you open it up, it's flimsy. It's like, what? what? You're sending this to me for 800 naira. Mm. When I can buy a whole buck of pot for two That's for two for two dollars, so it's like you're giving us all this crap, and then we're paying a lot of it, a lot of money for it. The government, the regulating bodies, don't mind they don't because they've already probably sourced mm. their pockets, mm. so they just turn a blind eye to the importation of all this nonsense. Okay. Then the, the users don't even care; they take it like that. Mm -hmm. Just give us. So my thing is this: mm -hmm. there are fake products everywhere. Yes. Mm -hmm. it's just mm -hmm. not in Africa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are fake products everywhere. When you walk into, mm -hmm. but the, we have good fake and we have bad. Fake. Mm -hmm. so that's fake, fake. fake. Yeah, no, 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 okay. no, no, no. Let me let me land. We have good fake and we have bad fake. When you walk into Walmart right now, mm -hmm. everything there it is fake, but it's the expensive fake ones that is there in, in Walmart. <laughs> oh, the and, and, and about Equate. ninety percent of them were made from China. Mm -hmm. So China makes the good fake and then they make the bad fake. Mm -hmm. We Africans will go and buy the fake fake. <laughs> and sell it to our own people. <laughs> if you go to Southern China right now, I'm hearing it's full of Africans buying all kinds of fake things, uh, fake jeans from well, fake yes. shirts, from mm. fake Chanel, from fake mm -hmm. um, Gucci, Gucci, like, Gucci. you know, and, then, ah, and bringing Gucci. it all the way back to Africa, Africa. to sell to their mm. own very people. Mm. So sometimes it's not Af um, China walking into um, the, um, Africa to, to sell you the product. It's your own people. Your own African people will travel. To go buy there was the a cheap time, ones. There was a time where Ghanaians were traveling to Togo to buy Togo jeans. Eh? If you wear the jeans for one week, you, you, your, your ass is all out. <laughs> your ass is all out. But why did they do that? They did that because it it's was cheaper. fast, mm. it was cheap, yeah. and the, there was supply, there was yeah. demand. So this, when people were asking for it, you, you, you produce it. This boils down you know? to corruption. corruption. And education. Corruption, mm. corruption. Mm. That, it's a huge word, corruption. When the government and every agency responsible for all these channels mm -hmm. are corrupt, mm -hmm. Definitely, these I are said. the things that you're gonna get. Mm -hmm. So the but, way, <laughs> but the thing is, th these companies that you're talking about making all these um, things, like it, um, mm -hmm. you, you said, what, what country did you say? Um, Egypt. Egypt. Egypt yeah. Or I would use China as an example. Mm -hmm. the, China, China is um, is like leading in like world factory. They're yes. producing everything like now. Factory. How did they get there? They, how did they get there? Education. They studied the system. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They educated themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, and they so why the best can price in the market? Yes. Yeah, so why can we we do that as well? Mm -hmm. Why can why can we do it? Exactly. Mm. exactly. Why, why? That's what I and the thing about it is, why time. in Africa are we having to even buy processed food? Everything is in the the land just because is of bountiful. Time. It's a, it's a, we are living but, uh, in a different world now where people really have jobs. They have a lot of kids. So to save time, I'm going to the market and instead of fresh tomatoes, I'll buy the tomato paste, the expired one. And that's why yeah. you end up buying the one they imported from China. <laughs> well, <laughs> if, you're, if you're attributing China to for fake products, mm -hmm. so why do we have to emulate and you know do what they're doing? I don't what do you mean? I, mean, I miss that. No, what? like a lot of uh, ch uh, China products is uh -huh. fake, fake, fake. Like yes. the way you've closed No, what Charlie's not saying emulate mm -hmm. what they're doing. Mm -hmm. What he's saying is why can't we have our own manufacturing industry? industry. Why industry. can't we get educated we to that to level okay. so that we can create our own manufacturing but industries? I'm, I'm not because Nigeria, knocking... it's not even just Nigeria. Africa exports everything, everything. to buy it back. To buy yes. yes. Yeah, but it's not even about, the fake doesn't bother me, honestly. Okay. The fake, the fake... Things doesn't bother because if you, I'm putting myself. It bothers. In, hold on. Bother let me, let me. It, let, it depends on what fake item okay. you're making. Right. If you're making drugs. fake Nike, uh, yeah. Nikes, no, I don't fine. give a damn. Mm -hmm. If you're making fake Gucci, Gucci. I don't give a Gucci. damn. Actually, mm -hmm. if you're making fake Versace, yeah. I don't give a damn yeah. because drugs. there are people in living in uh, in Africa that want to be part of the loop, right? <laughs> want to be part of the society as well. Right. So if they can afford uh, um, Gucci instead of Gucci, <laughs> more power to you. Yeah. My thing is, it becomes evil when you are producing fake drugs. That's when it becomes very. That we're consuming. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. when it comes evil, evil because you wouldn't sell that drug to your own family mm. members. Right. Why, do you mean, think it, say, why do you think mm. people living in Africa, you know, deserve that drug? Yeah. So yeah. that's where I have the problem with. with so there was even a, a documentary where they went, um, where they went to Nigeria. Who was in charge of making sure the medicine was the, the medicine was coming into Nigeria? And supposedly the guy that was in charge of it was signing off on documents on fake farmer. Like literally, what they do is they take a medicine. Let's say they take uh, amoxicillin. Yeah. They take amoxicillin to China to Chinese producer and say, could you make this same thing for me? Looks just like this, but you know what I'm saying? Put whatever kind of, put half of whatever it is supposed to be in it. Mm. And literally they make that and they bring that back home. 
So like it just like for instance like in in Togo they they have so much fake pharma there that people like you think yeah even for babies babies just supposed to get baby medicine they're yeah, getting medicine that's killing your baby in the inside. Walk walk down on Thirty Fourth Street Soho Avenue even mm. walk down Fordham Road there are fake perfumes. How everywhere. are you always finding all these locations? <laughs> because because <laughs> I travel yeah. and I, I explore instead of staying in my room all day I actually for, go out. Fordham Road. Yeah. Yes, I go mm. I go out and I see I see it, them I mean, selling don't, don't the, the issue is, is the issue plenty. Ch the yeah. issue is. You know, we're all trying really. to try to blame China, but China is just making all kinds of things, right? Mm. They are making the they're selling the good ones to the yeah. rich people mm -hmm. and they're selling the bad ones to the poor people. So it all boils down to poverty. Mm -hmm. Right? It's money it's about education. money. Because poverty, if you want if you, yeah. because guess what? If you go to that um, Africa right now and you see those fake phones, mm. they are made from China. Mm -hmm. If you want the good one, then take your ass I mean, to Apple. Apple, Apple is also made in China. Apple phones That's what I'm saying. China. So it's yeah. good the and then there's the bad. And then the so bad it's all about now you having the saying. coins and getting the money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So if you want the real one, walk your ass down to Apple and get it. Yeah. But if you want the you want to be cheap. Yeah, but at least those ones, those ones are like non-consumable goods. Mm -hmm. through it's the same, our, it's the our same. The, the, like what Charlie said about like that dangerous part where Africans mm -hmm. are also killing ourselves because yeah. there are so many Africans traveling out there mm -hmm. to buy the lowest quality product and, bring bring it back. and like the farmer and they're mm -hmm. bringing it back to Africa. How do we stop that? How in do we fix that? In the case of production, that? in Egypt is part of Africa. In the case of production, this always yeah, part of whatever is, produ is produced out there. They would argue with you that they're giving you the same quality as they're giving you abroad. So that is also another point to look yeah, at. Yeah, but who's testing you, them? Exactly. It's testing. You, looking at, you having all these things being produced and them telling you, you're having the exact, it's the same quality you're getting, but really, you're not getting the same quality. Simani, so we are sir. the ones doing ourselves at the end I, of the day. How comfortable are you walking into a drugstore and you know you see a drug and then mm -hmm. it says made in Nigeria? Uh, oh, uh, wait, oh, no, no, let's talk. Well, for the longest, oh. Paracetamol was, was Epsom, made in Nigeria. 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 That was what we were taking for Epsom's life. Yeah. 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 We were babies, we were having Paracetamol so, so made, made, made in Nigeria. Nigeria. I still took yeah. it when I was in Nigeria. But the thing is, I'm sorry. But I see a drug made in Africa. Wow. Hey, you see, wow. But, that, but that's the problem. That's, 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 that's part of the problem. That's part of the problem. Of that's we don't business. trust. It's not about just yeah, about black black black. We don't trust when the your, system. Your own president black is black traveling black. outside to get medical. <laughs> I, I can see what you're saying. You see what you're saying? Yeah, because yeah. even our president don't even trust our own medical system. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, it's systematic. It's systematic. And you know, I know you say that we have to, but how can we as people make sure that that stuff is being vetted when the people that are at the top that are signing off on these things coming into our land are signing off? Off on it, so they're flooding our markets. In regards mm -hmm. to whatever, it becomes about it becomes about money. Like greed mm, yeah. corrupts. Like you know, power and greed corrupts absolutely. Right. And literally, we literally have to cleanse everything for us to be able to make sure that we're vetting and there's some processes. Mm -hmm. Because it doesn't matter. Like, cause you literally are killing your system. Cause you never know. Like even even these rich rich men and these corrupt people. One day your children might be hanging out with their and broke back mountain friends, and they might be in the house and they take medicine, mm -hmm. and you, they will just they, they'll yeah. kill over. Mm -hmm. So you. Have to be really thinking about things happen because you never know where your children are going right. to be. You never know who your children are going to be around. Just think about really becoming more ethical when it comes to accepting start right. um, less than for your um, community. I was beginning to think it was just you know back home in Africa, but to know that it happens here, like mm -hmm. it's all over. Mm -hmm. yeah. There is nothing it's as scary as that. Like yeah. <laughs> so I, mean, I, I mean, like literally the the the, the stuff that is in. Sanitary because they make it because they they, they, they they put it inside of it. It's a medical product, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So you, they don't have to go through the same vetting process with the FDA as everything. Look at what is in it. It is styrofoam. Yeah. It is acetone. You ruin, use acetone to take over your nail. Chlorine. Yeah. Can yeah. you imagine that? Even me. And I'm like, wow. I've used this for so many years. I wonder what it has done to me mm -hmm. as a woman. Right. So now I'm actually using pads that are uh, made from cotton, mm. from the Honesty brand. Because you have to literally start to think about. I, I'm right. getting older now. I don't want something to happen because why are cancer rates out the roof in, yeah, in America? Yeah, cervical cancer out and stuff the like roof. that. Think yeah. about so it. So who are making this? Okay, so who are making this product? So does that mean we have Procter to go back? But that, does that mean if we? Okay, so let's say we want to create a change right now yes. and not use this product yes. that are coming from all these countries. Yes. Where do we? What's the next step? Are we? Are you ladies going to go back to what your great great grandmother did by putting Correct. all kinds of things under you to soak these uh, um, mm -hmm. things? The blood. What are you going to do? But but I, then I was going to say to Charlie that but what Kenya did was great because the women's created a hashtag and all mm -hmm. over the world is hearing it and now they're looking hashtag at hashtag is not a 
the product. No, 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 no. The what hashtag do do? brought it to use? brought it to the brought it to the attention that all women and all over the world are seeing that always products are horrible mm. for women. Period. So what you gonna use? What I'm gonna use? That, cotton. I use cotton. That healthier. That healthier There's cups. There's now. cups. They have cups. They have the cups that you could put in. They have mm. the panties now that you could put on and then you can wash it out. I'm not gonna mm. do all that. Mm. But they they're creating different natural right. products for women now I, I, because I, a, a big push is coming for that to be changed. I think that the 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 stuff that I was thinking mm -hmm. about is we need to start creating our own stuff. Mm. We do. Mm -hmm. We do. Mm -hmm. So why are we not buying them? I trust. You have to create <laughs> awareness. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the same way you do not trust. like because the idea Because we keep producing of, and you people are not using it. So yeah, what? No, the same way you do not like the idea of yeah. buying an African create, uh, African produced medication. It's the same way people will be right, skeptical it's about... It's a joke now. Yeah, I know. But same, <laughs> it's a joke, but some people actually yeah. think the yeah. way you're thinking. Yeah. 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 The joke that you made. Yeah. It's the same way people will not want to buy pad that is made by an African. Like, what is inside? No, but I think, I think, I think it, paper it's a reverse inside. thing, though, because I wouldn't trust anybody make, like, a, a, a white person making African fabric now. I wouldn't trust that. I mean, you know, Stella McCarthy stills our stuff all the time. Mm. When I look at it and it says, if it, 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 this says made in Italy, I'm like, really? from like the, where? Like the, they make the Ganamites go back, Zara. Yeah, What's they make the Ganamites go back you know, in Zara. I don't buy those. Mm. So my thing is, let's make our own, mm -hmm. invest in our own things, mm -hmm. be independent. I like that. We are always yeah, doing Yes, it's only okay, Charlie. You are, you are giving me Panama no, today. Should, it should, we should be, uh, you, know, I like yeah. you know, very That's, dependent and, and you know, also, we should uh, yes. We should seek the right knowledge in making them so we can gain back that trust. Mm -hmm. So it's, just, it's not just all about making our own, uh, proudly African, proudly Nigerian, proudly Ghana, whatever. Seek the right knowledge, get educated about what we're making mm -hmm. and do it the right way so we can get that trust back. Yeah. You mentioned um, Paracetamol, mm -hmm. right? It's We have a company in Ghana Enzo called. Um, okay. Kina Pharma, mm -hmm. where they make all these products. Yeah. I, for me, so ever since I was growing around that area, mm -hmm. Kina Pharma has been the same. Mm -hmm. There are nobody investing in these companies. Wow. How, how is it going to grow? Yeah. They probably still have the same 100 employees. Mm -hmm. It's not growing. There are demands. The demand is high, mm -hmm. but your supply is low. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if you cannot match that, mm -hmm. we're going to be looking somewhere else. And we also want to yeah. mention that Ghana is making cars, too. Oh, oh we have Kantaka. Yes, Kantaka. Let's talk about that. Just Google that. him. Kantaka, he's Nigeria making, also making cars. cars carries motor. Yes, no, but the cars that we are yeah. making is and not run. The, the cars that this guy mm -hmm. is making is not running. Um, with gas, mm -hmm. it's running with water. Mm -hmm. Like they are so making, they just yeah. 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 company. Yes. But the thing is, the gag is my sister. Mm -hmm. He's not getting invested. Mm -hmm. Nobody want to invest in African people. Mm -hmm. Why? Yeah. What, yeah, why? That's why? A what is, that's why a do you think that is? Because that's trust. They I don't mean, trust their own thing. That's a problem. And also, there's been, there's been, there's been, there's been so much, there's been so much like news and things that people are corrupt. When you give them this amount, you you invest your money, they all of a sudden they are missing and your money is gone. Mm. And there's no like, you know, like there has to be some trust system. People need to be honest because how many times have they invested in something and they don't ever get their return? They don't get it return. Mm. Sign the contract. Like sign some stuff or contract. you can't find them. Where you where you are going to? Be like, <laughs> Let me go get my contract or somebody I gave in Ghana or Nigeria. Yeah. You can't even find them. They have become Invisible. You have to convince people first yes. by your quality. You, you're putting out if you're putting out merchandise that the quality is kind of questionable. You don't think I, nobody will run towards you. Absolutely. The reason why people are buying Mercedes mm. as opposed to a Tokyo, a Japanese car is because they know that um, an European car is much dirty compared to the Tokyo. So like mm. you have to first of all convince people that listen, I I know what I'm doing. This is my product. If you use it, you can see. Let them be. Let them testify for themselves that this is really this is of poor quality. And then it. it Pretty much is word of mouth. Next thing you know, people are coming. You have people that want to invest. We talked about Netflix mm -hmm. and how nobody wanted to buy into Netflix's shares when they took a nosedive. Because people look at it like, mm, what's that? Mm -hmm. You have to sell that idea. Mm -hmm. You actually also have to follow, follow through mm -hmm. with action. Mm -hmm. Let us see that your quality is good. The medication you're talking about, let us see that the medication really works. As opposed to the ones that they bring. You can't put... I said I've used Panadol in Nigeria, yeah. but I can't put I can't compare Panadol to Excetrin. Yes. <laughs> Never. Because mm -hmm. exactly. Excetrin works like crack. Panadol, sure yeah. like a whole <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Panadol takes like hours for it to take yeah. effect, but Excetrin is instantly yeah. it's fair so working. That works fast so, and you want to piggyback about that quality. I'm definitely mm -hmm. think, I definitely think because I know on the ABS show we put you, the, it, something was posted where there was this juice factory, this juice that everybody's drinking in Africa, right. and you think it's good quality juice, and then you look at the back end. 
It's horrible where they're making it. It's where cement is being made. Yep. So they're making the stuff in place. So you see something and you're like, well, would I, would I buy this juice that's made in Nigeria? Would I buy this juice that's made here? Even pure water. They were showing somebody filling um, out of taps and wells, yeah. right? filling the pure water satchels and selling it. So it's like, how do you showcase and mm. also have quality assurance mm. in your production? Mm. But why are you yelling when you say the pure water? Because my auntie does that business. <laughs> <laughs> she, auntie, she does <laughs> Auntie, your business. I know what you do. <laughs> I know the tap water. I know it. <laughs> but we'll let you have this one for today. Oh, my auntie does that business. Tap water. Pure water. water business now. I mean, what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> so how, how can she start doing it? Wow. Yes. It's, it's <laughs> Everybody, there's, there's, there's corruption everywhere. Like, yeah. there's oh, being, uh, you know, but the thing about it is that for us to be trust. trusted, yeah, like, trust. I really want there to be a point in, in Africa where we are selling the same goods that they sell to us right. back to people. Yeah. Right. And also, you know how Africans uh, are. Most times, they want they want expensive stuff. If it's not expensive, they feel like oh, it's not quality. Mm. That's another mm. thing, you know. If it's, yeah. it has to be expensive, ah, oh, that one now Rejo, you know, and mm. stuff like that. In that, that yeah. same light, right? <laughs> They, they want expensive stuff. When you now give them a Nigerian produced item that's expensive, they, on the, they, on they just look at it. Because of the name, it's about the name. African name product yes, the that, is, that is affordable. Mm -hmm. They'll tell you no, it's not, it's, it obviously it's not going to do too much, because do too well because it's cheap. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then you give them an African product that is expensive. expensive. They'll tell you why. Why should it be expensive? It's an African product. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you can't it's win when it comes to it. Sometimes it's not even about the price, because when you go back home and let's say somebody's wearing an outfit and you say, like, where did you get it from? Oh, Oh, from America. It didn't even have to. You probably, I probably bought it from <laughs> China. From Town. Ben Down Select. <laughs> from Ben Down and Select. And I owned the real good and I gave it to you. You were probably thinking, I, you know, I got it from yeah. some store yeah, or whatever yeah, the case might be. The foreign, the so it's also product. about the name. So, so Africa, let's get our name up there. Yes. Yeah. When you say African wear, be proud of it. That's why I'm wearing this today. Tell it to Bello Couture. Be proud of it. Mm -hmm. Sell it. You know, that way your name is up there as well. Mm -hmm. And this, this can match Versace as well. Hey, you yeah, wearing yeah. Versace. Yeah. I'm wearing my belly couture now. Let's go. What's go up? Go 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 this is not belly couture. This one is Yabe Jida. So Yabe, we shout out to you. Thank you for the outfit. Yeah. It looks nice. And if you're, you. if you're making African products, have an address mm -hmm. so we can find you. That's okay. right. <laughs> <laughs> because if somebody asks you right now, where did you get this? Yabe Jida. But do you shoes. know one thing that's coming out of Africa that's selling really big is those lace front wigs. Oh. Those braided wigs mm. that are done right. like one of a kind. They're selling them for like two, three hundred dollars. People are buying lace front wigs from Africa and they like. In, from, from Nigeria, Ghana, they're making wonderful, wonderful things. Uh, and you know, the Asians were making that at once, but now we are doing this and I'm yeah. happy. So let's figure out what we're good at and do it well and continue to push it in. And people are gonna yeah. buy it. Like, what? like like for instance, like I said, those wigs are something that we're like good textiles, at. Textiles. Textiles, no. also ready-made foods. When we mm. create a way to preserve our foods, mm. and when we sell it, like the way they sell um, Indian food in um, Whole Foods, they sell um, Mexican food in Whole Foods. Yeah. Why are they not selling Nigeria? They have, there's one lady now doing egusi soups there. But we need to think about things that I we're saw really the goosey soup in the and supermarket. Now, Disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> no. Let's figure out what no. we're good at. So, no. like you said, Charlie, fashion is something that we're really good right. at. Yeah. Let's start selling our fashion, mm -hmm. high couture, making sure that Fashion Week we are showing at Fashion Week yes. as the yeah. top billings, things mm -hmm. like that. Let's start to think about what we're doing. I really, I really was so shocked mm -hmm. to see uh, uh, our Ankara, you know, designs mm -hmm. at a Middle East, uh, Eastern store, yes. wholesale store down in 22nd Street mm -hmm. in Manhattan, mm -hmm. and it wasn't really like. Yeah, like the, the way it is back home in Africa, yeah. Yeah. you know, poor quality, the the print and everything. Don't get my dog. Making Ankara now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not the same quality though. It's not. It's not the same quality. It's not the same quality. And the print as well, so it's not the same. Rainbow was selling Ankara two summers ago, and like I, I was like, flimsy. No, I need to speak to the manager. This is not the insult of it all. They will steal your stuff. Give it a different name. Yeah. And we'll so be literally it. pushing what we're good at. Yeah. And we're yeah. really, really good. Yeah, and like you even said, even talking about top of the line um, surgeons and top of the line, a lot of the top of the line surgeons and a lot of top of the line um, lawyers and engineers are, are from Africa. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. they're working in the, they're like, we have product and services that we do very well. It's yeah. to make sure we're pushing that, you know, celebrating that and telling people more about it. So mm -hmm. I just do want to talk about some of our experts are coming back. Our doctors now are coming back to do nips and tucks for all of the mm -hmm. elite and the, those party girls. Yeah. So you see the girls have perfect waist, perfect nyanch, because mm -hmm. you know, sometimes Nigerian women didn't have big, big nyanch like that. Yeah, well, depending yeah, on what state you are from. But now they're getting that Ghana People used to travel yeah. abroad for that. And yes. now the they're doctors are rather coming in. Yeah, you have a lot of doctors that actually mm -hmm. are going, they've gone out, Dr. Ayodeji mm -hmm. from Grambio Laser, mm -hmm. Dr. Femi yeah. from Lekki, Lekki Hillside. They, they both, they went out, got training on, and came back, and mm -hmm. now, 
They are doing very well. Like yes. if you go to their clinic, they are that shipping well. girls up. So yeah. the point is bring the business back. Bring home. them back home. My yeah. issue is bring also like home. the politicians and the leaders as well. Mm -hmm. We need we need strict laws mm -hmm. because some of these things are coming in in cargo ships sure. and yes. it, like in a That's whole bunch of other thing. ways. Mm -hmm. yes. Let's put the laws in place. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Because sometimes, listen, I have my stuff shipped in Ghana. I told you where, right? <laughs> Your containers. Please don't look into it because they do random sh searching now. <laughs> where they what, are you, what are you carrying now? I'm not carrying anything. I bet. <laughs> contraband. Just, you know, but people are paying. Sometimes they, 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 they point it out for them to open it. Yeah. They just pay their way yeah. through and then yes. they just... They bring it in, so our, it's also on our leaders as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Our country yeah. is not baller; it's not a trash place where you could just. Quara Africa is not a dumping ground. Yes, yes. No it's, yes. it's not baller. All right, so we gotta go. Um, let us know in the comment section your thoughts on these topics. Until next time, you're watching the ABO show. This is Mino TV. Bye. Thanks for watching, and if you liked this episode, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you next time.